Hey guys, welcome to my house. This is my entryway. Check out that awesome Eiffel Tower painting. Goes perfect in that location right there. But look at this wall, this huge wall. It's so empty looking. And the Kira sleeps right there. Oh man, that's a lot of shoes. But anyway, you know what? I have those superhero paintings. I might as well make good use of it right there, right? Let's go check it out. Welcome to my kitchen. And I just finished cleaning it. Here are the awesome canvas paintings that I purchased from Ross Dress for Less. Let's take a look at what I paid for them. $24.99, both of them being the same. And Ross even sells different size superhero paintings. They could be canvas or even wooden. And I believe I've reviewed those before. They range from $9.99 for the smaller wooden ones. Kind of a little bit, about a twice the size of a comic book. And then these huge ones. As you can see, that's Wolverine right there on the left and the Flash on the right. Marvel versus DC, baby. And let's take a close up look at this. Looks like both of these have different styles. This is more like the regular rectangular type of plastic. On the show, this is more like a little bit more fancier. And look at the texture of it. That's referring and looks like the artist is Mike. I can't read that, but whoever it is. Awesome art right there. Kind of reminds me of like Sam Keith with Jai Lee. Jim Lee's younger brother. And we have the flash. Looks like I can't even see the artist, but I'm gonna have to remove the corners. Alright, let's see the back. Before I remove the sides. Man, this would look awesome on the wall, wouldn't it? Where are the hanging points? I thought it would be right here. Oh, you have two um side one of I believe yeah two side hooks same with this all right let's get to work are you guys excited to see how it turned out here we go kabam check it out guys doesn't that just look gorgeous it goes perfect with that long hallway. Now let's take a close up look at it. I didn't do anything fancy. I just used simple two nails on each side. Surprisingly, it took way less time than I predicted. I didn't use any laser guidance or anything like that. I simply used a tape measure and pencil. It's just like a process of elimination. All right, so last time we checked out Wolverine, let's go check out the Flash. Make sure I represent DC properly also. Look at the quality of the art. That bright red and that yellow, it's just amazing. Man, it's just gorgeous. Let's see what the details say on the flash. I can't find an artist. That's weird, typically the artist name would be on there like that. Looks like it's made by Trend International. And there is the Marvel logo. And only 25 bucks, and I'm pretty sure Bed Bath & Beyond and other stores, they are probably selling these for like maybe 50 bucks or more. You can't beat the deals at Ross. Wow, I just love shopping at Ross. What do you guys think, huh? Unfortunately, I won't be doing reviews down here. There's not enough space, so you guys will not see these two paintings in my comic book haul videos anymore. So, let's give it a score anyway. On a scale of 100%, I'm going to represent DC and Marvel properly. They are both equal. I'll give them a 95%. This looks amazing. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Happy collecting.